so I have this abortion. I had cut off all my emotions because I was a very sensitive girl. Remember I told you I cried really easily when my parents didn't cry and I never saw my mom cry until my brother passed away and I was probably 27. Never saw women cry. So I had learned that that wasn't a good thing. You ever heard your parents tell you, shut up, I'll tell you something to cry about. <laughs> That's an old Southern whatever. But it was true, I would learn not to cry. So one time um, my mom said, I can just look at Dee and she'll cry. And she didn't mean it bad, she was just saying the truth. Well, I started crying in front of people and I made a vow then, I'll never cry again. And when you make a vow, it sticks. So I didn't cry anymore. So when I had an abortion, I didn't cry. And I thought that was great. I, could, I was even keeled, nothing bothered me, nothing hurt me. What happens is you can't feel the love of God either. You can't feel the love of people when you shut your emotions off. And sometimes it's so, it's so difficult. And so that's why healing is so important for all the things. And I love what Central Church has here, healing prayer rooms. If you need healing, you can go get that. And healing prayer was powerful in my life, especially in abortion. I sat before folks that prayed over me and I just re had to relive it, but it was powerful, the most cleansing repentance I've ever had in real life. And so that turned, sexual sin just keeps getting worse and worse. The thing that you thought you'd never do, you end up doing. 